Hello everybody and welcome back to another video from Alan Paul. So we're going to pick up where we left off. We're going to go back to our instructional game that we're running. Um, you'll see that I have a few going on here right now. Um, so we're going to be using the recorded playthrough that we've got about two and a half hours into so far. Um, so I've got a little background music. I want to see how this works out. Just a little bit of NCS music that I like to have going. I, I'd rather listen to this than listen to some of the game music on occasion. So I'm going to get started here. Busy week. I might start doing some more recordings, but I haven't decided on what days or nights I'm going to be able to do that on. But being as I have some time right now, i got a few hours, I'm going to go ahead and get some recordings done. So we're going to go ahead and run. It seems like all of my recordings are running about an hour now. Uh, I've been wanting to keep them down to a half hour. I just can't do it. They want to get to a certain point with every single uh, run through that we're doing. So we kind of want to keep that going for that particular point, get to the next you know, big step, if you will. So I might do a couple recordings tonight for this particular run through. I'll do one, I'll release that, and I'll do another one to release that. And maybe I'll have some time to do like a permadeath run or something like that, like I did last time. Um, kind of curious as to some of your comments on that. Nobody's really commented on it, but I'm very curious if anyone actually sees it, comments on it. Feel free to give me a rundown of what you think. So, where are we here? Hey, we got some some ships landing. Let's see what we got. Mm, ooh, that's a kind of a good-looking fighter there. Eight million, though. I'm pretty sure I'm... Yeah, two million left of my uh, coffers there. I'm not a big hauler guy. I don't particularly care for them. If I get far enough into a save, I might get a hauler, but uh, that is the tiniest ship I think I've ever seen. Uh, one of the tiniest, anyway. Uh, not much better than what I've got already. And who do we got landing here? And another fighter. Not a big fan of the round sphere in the background like this it's okay but that other ship wasn't bad I kinda like that one anyway let's see where we are in the missions here or I should say mission there's only the one so let's see I should continue my search it says okay warp fuel right okay and it directed me towards the planet so let's go ahead and head over there and we're on our way Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of the way, pal. Get around the side of the planet here. Alright. Let's get lined up. There we go. And we're on our way. Undiscovered. What do we got here? What kind of planet is this? Quagmire. Ah, uh, yeah. Giggity. Okay. Usually a very humid planet. It doesn't say, but anything about sentinels that is but it tends to be it can be warmer than most it might be okay at first but the storms can come through so we gotta keep an eye out for the storms alright here we go Uh, let's see. Proximate location. So we're looking for some place that's going to contain a warp device. Let me see here. So the approximate location is there. It could be there. It could be over there. Um, ooh. Oh, I know what this is. I'm going to go ahead and land here because I can make some serious cash over here. Let me see if it's the place I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. whispering eggs, my friends. Alrighty then. But, as you can see, we're nowhere near where we need to be here. So, okay. Uh, let's see if we can pick up some stuff on the way. How many do they have on this planet? Seven, okay. No, I don't want to shoot anything right now. There we go. Okay, two. They got a lot of flying creatures on this one. Three. Okay. 
Lots of flying creatures. I don't see a lot of creatures ground level. There might be some cave-based creatures. Let's take a quick peek. Because, you know, I'm always looking to get more nanites. Three of seven. Let me see what we got here. Flying. So we got another flying creature. Underground, underground, and underground. The rest are underground. Eh, we may not be able to find them all. But let's go ahead and get to our objective. So there's some place over there. We'll come back here in a little bit. So as you can see, yeah, 65.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, Radiation is not very hard at all. Target. Oh, that's good. The target actually shows up down there. Hmm. I'm not sure why I never noticed that. I've been playing for three years, and you think I would have noticed something like that. Ugh. This early in the game, you can't get your jetpack to get you where you need to go. Okay. Oh, that looks cool, that shadow. That was pretty neat. So any other flying creatures we haven't found yet? Ah, oh, good. Meteors. That's nice. Never been hit by one. Fascinating. Okay, nothing. Let's keep going. Alright, let's see if it'll let us go up the hill. See, see, it's if you go up a very steep incline, it will not use up your jackpot fuel until you get to a open area like we just did. Alright, let's see how far we got to go. 750. Glad I got that upgrade for this thing. Grab some stuff while we're here. Alright. Okay. So, somewhere in this general direction. Oof, that was fun. Whoop, sorry, my bad. Mining beam, yeah, that's what we want. Let's get these carbon crystals while we're here. The condensed carbon is very, very handy. So you want to grab it. I don't, yeah, I don't have the advanced laser yet. Alright. How far we got to go? 540. Again, not sure if you... Holy mackerel. Ah! Yeah, baby. That was cool. I may have to call my ship to me. I don't know if I want to climb back up that huge mountain and get to the other side. I might try to go around it. We'll see what happens. This way. Somewhere, somewhere in that general direction, about 250. It's probably a monument or something like that. I don't quite remember what it was. Uh, seems we have a... Something down there. Let's go ahead and get the sodium. You can always use extra of that. Nice sodium patch. kind of strange with these patches lately. You can't quite grab the things you're pointing at sometimes, and you got to kind of move around quite a bit to get them all. I don't know why. See? I'm pointing right at that one. I had to get right on top of it. Strange. Come on. There we go. Okay. Last two. There we go. Okay, so something right over there. Uh, let's see. Over here. So there was something. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. Ancient structure. So it looks like we're going to learn some words here. Boink. Viking word for death. Yeah, well, they're warriors. I guess death is kind of important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned a bunch of words. Thank you. Yay. Where is the... Huh. Interesting. I don't think I've ever been on one like this before. That was pretty cool. How do they know? The structure is like unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words form themselves in my mind. A strange fragment of broken speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? 
I go back and forth on this one whenever I'm asked this question on the run. I sometimes choose travel and I sometimes choose friend. Today I'm going to choose friend. It feels strange responding to questions I'm, I am unsure that I am being asked. But something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I am overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken, that someone is watching me. That's not creepy at all. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? Now that's a pretty deep question if you think about it. Are you the first one here or the last one here? I'm going to go with last. I think uh, philosophically. Yes, I'm the last one here. Am I the last one you're going to see? Maybe. I do not know how I'm being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. Hence the reason I answered the way I did. It asks again. Have they seen the crimson eye? Has the crimson eye seen them? Now, you remember that red eye that pops up when we go to terminals and stuff like that. So that's the eye that it's talking about. And if you look at some of the structures we go into, and if I can remember, I'll point it out to you. Like if we go into a, uh, uh, a trader base or one of those uh, uh, smaller bases, you'll see sometimes there's a red eye on the building. So it has seen the eye, the eye has seen it, or both. In my case, the answer is both. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert. Alert. The boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Well, that's not weird, is it? Find us, traveler. Whoa. And I got a warp cell out of it. Isn't that sweet? Oh, that's very nice. So my ship is that away. And you notice it's to the left of the mountain. So I'm going to go ahead and head back because I really want to get those whispering eggs. Take a quick look around because I want to make sure I'm not missing any creatures. There's one more flying creature, supposedly. It may not pop up until the day or until I move further away. Um, I'm near some caves and stuff, but I haven't seen any creatures that have been wandering around. So we'll see what happens. Oh, oh that wasn't good. Let me see. Where's my ship at? This way? Okay. Up we go. Take a look around real quick. I just want to make sure I'm not missing something. Okay. On we are. Okay. On we go. On we go. Whoop. Ah. Boink. That's weird. Seems to be taking my jetpack a little too long to charge lately. I don't know why. I'll grab those while I'm here. Huh. Little one. It's only a few more, but hey. Supposedly, okay, so that's the structure I'm heading towards. Okay, no big deal. Anybody? Any burbies? Any birds? Boibs, boibs. Nothing. I don't see anything new. So I may not get what I'm looking for on this planet, but hey, you know, we'll see how it goes. All right. Whee! All right, so there's where we're headed. Okay. Slip and slide. Ah, oh, you pain in the butt. I hate you guys. Take another quick peek, make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, there's another build, another structure over there. Ah, I'm not going to check it. I'm going to go for these eggs because that'll net me. If I get enough of them, I could end up with another one and a half million credits. So I think that would be a better option. So um, let's get my oxygen. Let's get this recharged because I really could use it. Uh, let's see, life support. We'll use some oxygen for that. We'll save our game here. I'm going to check our inventory real quick, make sure we have the space for this. Now, if you remember some of my permadeath runs, we could only save three. Three items per spot. But when the normal mode, you can save up to ten. So we can get ten of these eggs in my spots. And if we go, we go well on this, we should be able to get what we need here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. I'm sorry, that was weird. Made me a little dizzy too. But we're going to fill it in. 
because I'm going to be running around here like a chicken with my head cut off. So I want to be able to make sure I have the ability to do what I need. So if I've done this before, I don't remember if I've done it with you guys yet, of gathering up these whispering eggs. But as soon as you get one, the horrors jump out of the ground. And all it is is a matter of you just keep moving. That's all. Keep moving around, grab one egg, move to the next thing, grab one egg, run a little bit, jetpack a little bit. They may hit you once in a while, but you shouldn't get a whole lot of damage. Okay, so here we go. And we'll grab that one. Whoop, all right, I gotta get around these guys. Okay, whoop, oh, hello there. Okay, let's go around the corner. I'll grab something over here. Okay, got one. Got one. Got one. All right, we're doing pretty good here. Ah, sorry. Moving on. I'm going to skip that pile and go to the next one. Oh, hello. Hi. Excuse me. We're going to skip around those because those guys are kind of a little bit congregating around it. We'll come back. Ah, good. It's getting to daylight, so I'll be able to see a little better. And if you get that running motion going every now and then... Okay, that pile is done. You can avoid them when they jump at you. Like this one's going to jump at me at some point. We'll skip this one. All right, we've cleared out this area a little bit. So there's one. Because they jump at you when you're stationary. So if you can get around them. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a good run here. If you can get them when they're state when you're stationary and you get running real quick, you can avoid getting hit by them. Wow. What the heck was that? He just kind of jumped all the way to the side. Did I get all the ones here? Yep, good. Run, run, run. Oop, that guy's uh, angry. He's going to hit me. Make turns. Already cleared out this area. We're doing pretty good, actually. I'm going to slow down just a touch so I can recharge. Okay, good deal. Occasionally you'll get a zero on the... Uh... Alright, I cleared all them out. You'll get zero on the egg, so just every now and then. It looks like we cleared this one out, too. Yep, we're done there. There's one here. Done. Whoa, okay. Okay. <laughs> Good deal. That one's clear. Clear. This one's clear. I think we got them all. If I. That sounds familiar, huh? Gonna get them all. Gee, what does that remind you of? Alright, I think we're done. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up on top and get out of the way. Boink. Okay, we're all set. Let's see how many do we get? 22. So what do we get for these? We get 700,000 a piece for each stack. So it's 1.4, 1.5, not quite 1.6 million credits. So that'll give me a good chunk of change, and that's worth it. Now, as I said before, and I do remember saying this, um, am I too far away from my starship? Yes, I am. Um, I know some other players will take this and put it into their refiner and try to get... Um, nanites out of it. And you get some good nanites from them, but you know what? It's really not worth it. It is really not worth it. Alright, swarm subsiding. They're going and reburying themselves. Good deal. So we're done here. Oh, there's one of the flying creatures. Okay. That's pretty cool. That is really neat. I just love this. I love the, the 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 environmental effects that they throw out here. Oh, there's a creature in there. Okay, great. We're gonna go in. We're gonna steal whatever we can, you know, supplies and stuff like that. Because we can get some decent nanites here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. This will give us probably about a hundred nanites, maybe a little bit more. And watch the crimson eye. Uh, I glimpsed the crimson orb between the clouds, a veil and a vast and baleful eye. I got that backwards. Unblinking and monstrous. Fear turned the blood in my veins to ice. I was so afraid it would see me, but then the clouds moved and it was gone. I was no longer certain if I had, if it had ever been real. 
Perhaps the fungal deposits from the last world I visited are still clogging my exosuit vents, affecting my cognition somehow. I have cleaned my filters six times now, but I still feel it inside of me. Analyze the data log. I discovered something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's data log. Something has been left that will aid me on my journey. Not bad, 128 nanites. It's pretty good. Let's gather up some supplies while we're here. Uh, there's usually a couple over here. Sometimes you look at the walls and there'll be something embedded on the wall too, so keep an eye open. Now, this had a creature in it over here, that one of those whips, whip tail things that attack you. There he is. Let's get rid of him. Okay. Let's turn on my visor here. So what's that? That looks like it's supposed to be, yeah, it's a database. So we got ourselves a word out of it. Uh, how many words now? Ten. You've learned ten words. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Searching. All right. So we nitrate. I'm gonna get that. This is interesting. This will give you, uh, even though it's a research specimen, it gives you bonus points towards whatever the race is in the galaxy that you're in. Like in this case, the Viking. So you should get, there you go, standing increased with them, usually by one. Um, this is the damaged machinery. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Probably get some more nanites out of it. Nope, Starship launch fuel. Yay. I can need more of that. All right. I think we're done in here. Cleared this place out. So, you know, it, it, early game, you know, at this point, it's like you're basically back... Uh, it's basically uh, getting to a point where you're uh, gathering up as many articles as you can along the way. Did I leave one behind? No, I didn't. Okay. So, all the articles, all the different items you can pick up along the way, you try to gather everything you can as you go along. And you get into the habit of doing so, and then after a while you realize, oh, well, you know what, i got so much stuff now, I really don't need it all. So, we are literally standing at the entrance to a cave, and you'd think I'd see some cave creatures. Hey, there's one. Uh, jumping pineapple of some sort. Great. So how much is that? Five or seven? You know, the chances of me finding the last two are pretty slim. Let's take a few minutes, and I'll take a look. This looks like a pretty decent cave system anyway. Well, I'll be darned. Okay. And the rare one is going to be the tough one. So look around as you can. Sometimes they'll be floating around the entrance like that other one that we saw was. I don't see anything else. Hey, how you doing? Like I said, it's like a pineapple. Jeez, it's weird. I'm not really that hungry either right now. 38, thanks. So, hope you don't mind the musical background here. Um, data range. I want to get these into my ship. I really want to get these sold off real quick if I can. I'm going to start hanging on to my salvage data rather than selling it. I think we have a good opportunity to make some cash with it, but I need to start getting some other items from the anomaly when we actually get there. What's the anomaly, you say? Well, I guess we're going to have to find out now, aren't we? Uh, what do you know? I'll take a look. Who knows? Maybe it'll be something cool. Nope, cobalt and silver, like all the other places. Cobalt and... Hey, silver, silver. What do you know? But you don't get a whole lot for silver, so... Okay, well, I'm not really seeing anything else in here. Like I said, I didn't want to take too long. If I don't get them, I don't get them this time around. I think I've been doing pretty good. Go backwards. What do you mean there's a whispering egg? I should have gotten all the whispering eggs. There is a whispering egg. I missed one. And I missed two. I missed two whispering eggs. Hi, guys. Sorry. Excuse me. I missed two. Oh, what do you know? All right, well. 
Not bad, huh? Now what's gonna happen here? Oh, they actually hitting me? Oh, hey! <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. They're really not hurting me too bad. It's just a very minor amount of damage. I was hoping to see if I could find anything. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and get, get out of here anyway. Alright. So. Go very slow. Because I want to move some stuff over. Nope. That stays here. There. That can move somewhere. Okay. Good. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my warp drive right now. Even though it's doing pretty good. Um... Pulse engines, okay. Launch thrusters are all right. All right, let's get going. So while I normally stick behind and try to find those uh, creatures, I'm not going to worry about them. We're going to get enough nanites later on. Don't you worry. Okay, now it says to go to a new system. But I'm going to do something different here. Now, we found out early on that one of these planets in this system was a paradise planet. I forgot which one it is now. Let me see. There's the planet we're on. Is it you? Let's go this way. I don't think so. I think it was the moon. I seem to recall that that was what it was. And another damn planet. So I can get lined up just right on the moon. Ah! Almost had it. Come on. Down. Ah! Oh, what a pain in the neck. Got it. Yeah, it was a paradise moon. I was right. And we were thinking about having a base here. Because having it on a paradise moon is pretty cool. So, let's see. Do we have anything to recharge my pulse drive? Uh, oh, we got plenty. Yeah, right, let's do it. Now, I plan to, sooner or later, actually get rid of my ship and get something nicer. Alright, sorry. I had received several messages and I'm trying to get past them all. That's a long ways away. also been talking to some folks. I might actually do a live broadcast one of these days. I haven't decided when, but bound to happen sooner or later, am I right? Maybe we can even turn on a camera. Who knows? So, let's see what this little paradise planet looks like. Now, I've been to paradise planets, like I said before, I think I said this in the last broadcast, um, that it everything's perfect about the planet. But then you find out that it's got a creature on it that likes to attack you. And it's like, uh, not so paradise as we thought. Now, one thing you'll learn about moons. I don't know if I mentioned this before. I'm going to mention it again. It's worth mentioning a second time, if the case, as the case may be. Each planet has a set amount of crashed fighters, um, minor... Uh, establishments, uh, trading outposts, things like that. Every planet has the same amount spread across the entire planet, no matter how big it is. That includes moons. So the moons have the same amount that the big planet over there does. However, they're closer together because of... Oh, you know what? That's 50 seconds away. I bet you anything it's a minor, minor uh, settlement. Um, but because they're closer together, uh, you can find things a lot easier. And it makes things like, you know, searching around the planet and going places on it a lot easier to get done. So I guarantee you this is a minor settlement. See, the minor settlement or landing platform, almost every single time you see something from that far away, it turns out to be a minor settlement. Let's see what we get. Kind of a nice position too, because uh, got a nice view of the planet above. I've had other save games where I have established on there. Look at that! It is a landing platform. Son of a gun. 
There we go. Get it to register me for a landing. All right, back to third person. I really don't like the first person view. I had someone ask me about that too, by the way. Um, on a PC, if you hit the X button for your settings, and you go all the way to the utilities, this is where you find your switch starship view and location. You'll find other things like companion registry, emergency warp, deflect cargo scan, scan for trading outposts. What you probably want to do is try to get some of these into a quick save slot. So like I highlight st switch starship view and you hold your left control key down and choose any number button, one through nine, one through zero. And it turns into your default for your switch starship view. So one, 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 see? Very simple. So that'll get you what you need. Hey, nice fighter. Very expensive, I guarantee you. Yeah, 12, 12 million just for a C-class. Uh, let's see. Nice explorer class. Nice. Hey. Ooh, those are good as pets. They're very good as pets. They're very fast flyers. B-class for 7.5 million. Yeah, those, those are really good. If I can get zoomed in enough that you can see them. These beetles. Yeah, if you can get one for a pet, man, they are awesome to have. Uh, they gave them away for some expeditions as one of the drops, and they are fast. They are way faster than traveling on foot or of any other creature. I found a couple creatures that are just as quick, but very hard to find. But if you can get a planet that, that has those, you're in good shape. Holy mackerel, is that a traveler? Sure enough, it doesn't happen often that you find one at a uh, trading outpost, but... Guess what we're going to get? Uh, see, life form dons a mask of undulating nanite clusters, and for a moment their face appears to become my own. I see myself looking at myself, looking at myself. Yeah, that's not confusing, right? I'm going to die. I'm sure of it. Should we push him away, embrace him, die, or leave? I always like to embrace. Just me. It's like, hey, give me a hug, pal. Hug myself. Love yourself. I embrace the life form, but it is myself I embrace. The mask withers, peeling from my face like flesh. I am myself again, but the life form is saddened. They offer me pity. That's all. It is strange, isn't it, how, how we can trade goods but not even touch? Perhaps the breach only allows non-biological matter to pass through. Perhaps not. Now, you always want to choose number, choose number two. Ask where they came from because you're going to find that place of interest that he talks about. So what are these travelers that we're seeing? There's a good explanation on that. Oh, great. Pirate attack. Great timing, right? Well, they're going to keep attacking unless we get rid of them. There's four hostile ships, as it says at the right. Let's talk about the traveler later. Let's get rid of these pirates, because otherwise they're going to drive us nuts. I always go into first-person view. And there we go. See if we can get this guy. For my ah, these wussy weapons that I've got. We got this. There we go. One gown. Gather up the items. Let's get the next one. Where is he at? Get the goods. There's the next one. Oh, he's attacking me. My shields are in good shape so far, but we have sodium and stuff in order to recharge my shields, but I hate these guys. Doesn't happen often that you get attacked. Let's get over there real quick. Got some nanites out of that one. Oh, my gosh, 500 nanites? That's pretty cool. There he is. Ready to go. There we go. Gotcha. Bye, buddy. Got some batteries out of them. That's nice. Alright. So where's my trading outpost at now? There he is. So not bad. Alright. 
Back to the Traveler. So what we were talking about with the Traveler. Traveler is translucent. Okay? We, can't, we can trade, but we can't really interact with each other. I can't touch them or anything like that normally. So what are they? They're from a different dimension. And you'll learn that the different there's different galaxy dimensions in this place. As we progress with the storyline, you're going to learn a lot more about that. Uh, let's see where they go. There they go. Larval cores, 24, 1.6 mil, eh, a little bit below the percentage I like, but that's okay. So that gives us 4 mil. We don't have enough to buy a ship yet, but we're getting there. All right, so where to? So it's nice to know what kind of ships they've got. I really don't like shuttles. I've said that before, and I'm not into haulers at all. Fighters, I don't mind a fighter. I would love to get an exotic. Those are always really cool ships to have. But is what it is. Um, how many creatures are on this planet? I think I've only discovered... Let's see. So, adult male always foraging in algae, so he's not he's not uh, dangerous at all. A little creature there. Peaceful. Nope, we're good there. That's three of eleven? Okay, we're going to get some serious nanites on this planet. And like I said, it's it's a paradise planet, too, so... Let's see what's around here, shall we? Let's go take a run around. Because I want to establish a small base here. And if I go back out into space, I will be able to continue the quest line. Uh, let's see. Looks like just uh, a couple of shelters. There's another one over there. See what I mean? See how close by they are? Hey, guess what? Huh. You know what? I might just do this again. But what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to go ahead and gather up some more Whispering Eggs because I'm sure you don't feel like watching me do that again. Um, that can get real boring real quick. And I will see you guys here in just a few minutes. Okay, so we're uh, we're back. So we gathered up pretty pretty good amount there. I got myself, um, let's see, 30, 23 of them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know why I'm going there. I forgot that in, in the battle, I gathered up some stuff. We got some suspicious packets. Let's see what we got. Ooh, nip nip buds. Worth 47,000. Let's put that in my inventory. Uh, and an excess. Oh, a suspicious movements module. Okay, let's see what we get out of that. Let's see what kind of. <sighs> wow, that's actually pretty dang good. 223% jetpack tanks. 54% sprint sprint difference and plus 54% recovery time. Initial boost I'm not as concerned about. But, you know, considering this is 200, that's pretty good. Sometimes these uh, X upgrades are better than the S upgrades. So you got to keep an eye open for them. Uh, very, very handy to get those. Uh, you know what? While we're here, let's throw some oxygen in there real quick. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a, uh, a rundown. I want to try to find... Oh, there's another creature there. Okay, no big deal. I want to try to find a... Um, hold on, I know this. Minor settlement. That's what I want to find. Uh, how far away is that? 46 seconds? Yeah, yeah, we'll just... Tom and Jerry it here. I don't want to go into space yet because that'll initiate the next stage of the quest line. And how, how far are we going? we got 38 minutes in right now. So, we'll get to the next stage of the quest line. I do want to establish a base. What in the world is that? Did we just find a shipwreck? I think we did. Son of a gun. Let's see if there's somebody there. Sometimes there's somebody there. Ah, okay, never mind. There's somebody there. So you can do a quest line where you can find a... Uh, there's a person over here. See, You can just see them right there. And you can talk to them, give them something to repair their ship, and they'll give you something in return. It's not really worth your time. Trust me on that. You don't get a whole lot of, out of it. But, you know, you get some good feelings. You help somebody. But you know what? I'm playing a game here, man. <laughs> not really into it right now. We'll do it another time. Let's go ahead and head over to this. We're going to gather that up, and then, like I said, we'll look for our uh, minor settlement to build a base next to. Oh, hello. 
closer than I thought. Seriously? Yeah, I'll take that, thanks. Just two, it looks like. Okay. And there he is. I asked a question that no one had asked. It was simple. The Sentinels. What are the Sentinels? Where do they come from? Made it my life's work to find. I left logs, records across worlds. The fallen traveler's grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. Extract a glitch. Glyph. <laughs> I obtained the glyph, and with it the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the fallen traveler in peace. So we get our first glyph, and we get a memory fragment. Memory fragments are not worth too much, 16 units, but if you consume it, sometimes you get something out of it. In this case, I got myself a neural stimulator for my jetpack. There we go. So we got some serious jetpack uh, technologies going on here, man. That's good stuff. I can handle that. All right, here we go. Moving on. So let's do a little uh, quick scan. Uh, let's see, we got some places over here. Let's take a peek, shall we? All right. Oh. Yeah, let's get some money. Shall we? Okay. Ugh, I forgot I don't have any weapons. Crud. And I'm pretty sure I don't have any other... Yeah, I didn't think I really had any others. Okay, no big deal. Let's move on. My bad, I can't get anything from there. I mean, I can shoot them with my ship, but then I'm chased by the Sentinels, and I, I'm really not in the mood to deal with that kind of crap right now. Alright, let's see what we got around here. So as we fly, and it's getting towards twilight, uh, that is at the beginning of daytime here, occasionally you can see green landing pads. I know there's a building in the distance at 25 seconds away, but it's probably a landing platform, since that's what it seems to be attracting lately. I like to check for other things as we go. So far, nothing. How weird. Five, four, three, two, look at that. Yay, another landing platform. I really don't want to build near a landing platform. Let's see what this unknown building is. Ah, an archive. Ah, those are nice too. Hey. Yeah, we can always use one of those. Let's go ahead and come into a landing. We're going to need one of these and one of these and I think we've got sodium nitrate on us but we'll find out uh... antimatter sodium nitrate yes we do and there's carbon and we can expand our exosuit so we'd go technology or should I go here I would like to fill all these out I like what Jason said about that I agree I'd like to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more of these before I start going with the technology. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Any creatures we haven't discovered yet? All right. Let's get a little closer. Where'd he go? He must be there. I just can't see him. Okay. Another one? What are we up to? 7 out of 11. Okay. Let's see. Is there another one there? We're up to 8, right? Need 3 more. Now... The good news is, is that there's no water on this planet, so that can be underwater creatures, though that sometimes is easier. I have a strange feeling that at least two of them are going to be underground. And so far, none of these have been dangerous creatures, so that's a good sign. Alright, let's find out, shall we? 
Okay. Underground. Yeah, no worries. See, there's the beetle. He's actually kind of a cool looking beetle. I'm going to have to get one of them. Get me one of those. Let's just go in this cave real quick and see if we find anything. It's one. Could use one more. And that'd be something. Look around the edges, because sometimes, like I said, they like to inhabit around the edges and hang out there. Sometimes I get lucky. Doesn't happen often. Might as well do that, because if I'm going to make this place my home, I want to be able to uh, know what I have floating around here. Oh, tritium. Sweet. That's really good stuff. All right, any creatures? All right, let's go establish a quick base, please. And maybe what I'll do in order to shorten the amount of time that would bore the ever living. That's a really cool view, isn't it? Look at that. Come on. That doesn't get any better, does it? I don't know. What do you think? Picture? Let's look this way. Turn around. Let's get a picture. What do you think? A little pull back here. Yeah, I'm loving this. There we go. That's pretty sharp, isn't it? Get a nice picture of that. All right. I like. Just every now and then you run across something and you say, you know, that would look pretty cool. Great wallpaper right there, man. We'll post that picture later. Maybe I'll even use it as a thumbnail to this broadcast. All right. So I'm going to go look for a nice place to live. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again. And we'll come back at a better time. Okay. Once we find a base and we can establish it, then we'll, uh, then we'll be talking. All right. Right back with you. All right. We're back. And I found myself a nice minor settlement. In the middle of nowhere, of course. Now, usually these minor settlements might have a cave system nearby, so we should be able to complete out the 11th creature sooner or later. Let's see what kind of itty-bitty little... Yeah, it's an A-class. It's probably better than what I got. It's got a scatter blaster on it already and a geology cannon, which are very handy for mining purposes. I'd probably get rid of the scatter blaster, though, but I could use it temporarily for the time being. How much do they want for it? Um, that's actually not terrible. Okay, I like this idea. Um, let's do something first. We're going to take this off of here. So you see it says store technology. We can take it and we can store it in our inventory for the time being. Um, it already has a mining beam. It already has a scanner. It already has an analysis visor. So I'm not going to worry about that. See? Analysis visor, scanner, and it has a mining beam. Now it's also got a bolt caster on this one, so I'm not really worried about which one I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and exchange it. I really don't want my old tool. It's not very necessary. So this gives me a new multi-tool. And we're going to go ahead and put this on board. And we're going to move this. See, now the damage from this right now is 3363. Doubled it nearly doubled it unbelievable now because of what we've got going on right now um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the bolt caster I don't think I really want it to be honest maybe yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it but the geology can I'm gonna hang on to because man that could come in really handy I'm gonna move this over to here too to supercharge it because it'll get me more back uh, when I start mining stuff uh, let's get you up to snuff. Okay, good. All right, and that'll be good for now. So, uh, supercharged mining beam with the geology cannon. Oh, I'm going to demonstrate that for you. Don't you worry. Those can come in really handy. You can't be too close to them. you got to be careful because you can damage yourself with those as well. Uh, we're going to sell and get rid of our larval cores. See, it's even a little worse now because we sold the other ones. 
We're up to 12 sal salvage data, but trust me, we'll need it later on. Let's get rid of the nip nip buds. Now we got some car carbon nanotubes out of the and that one that we uh, got rid of out of the inventory from the uh, bolt caster. So we'll hang on to them for now. I don't really need them just yet, but we might need them later. Let's see what we got in our inventory here. Uh, let's see if we got batteries. I'm going to keep the emerald. Uh, let's sell that. Keep you. That's all right. Chlorine for a reason. Okay, and I'm going to keep you guys. Okay, good. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Just sell that real quick. I don't need the silver. All right, where is it? Silver, 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 silver. All right. Okay, and buy. Is there anything I want? Got copper, got ferrite dust. I might grab the ferrite dust, even though I have some. Well, they got a lot. This must be a pretty good area. Uh, copper, we can probably get some of that later. 82 upgrade charts? <sighs> oh, man, we found ourselves a gold mine with this place. You can't usually get those at these trading terminals. That's fantastic. Okay, good, good, good. We're in a good spot here. I'm very happy. Let's see if this guy's going to upgrade my multi-tool. Uh, stares at me with hostile fiery eyes. They look with disdain at my exosuit, still covered with mud and grass from my time on this planet. Never, nonetheless, uh, the life born bows in greeting. Tradition and honor perhaps dictate it. Blah, 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 blah. The interloper is pathetic. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I don't feel in danger, danger and am about to turn and leave when the creature points towards my multi-tool. They bark with concern and motion to suggest I should hand it over. Yeah, hand it over. He nods in satisfaction. You take away it. They take it away, examine it, holding it close before tossing it away with the derisory snort. Instead, they offer me an improved replacement tool. Let's see how improved this thing really is. Huh. It's actually not terrible. Got advanced mining beams on it. They just have the boat cast with the barrel ionizer. That's pretty good. It's got two, three, three supercharged spots, but I have to repair the ever living crap out of this with items I don't have and I'm not going to get for some time. Um, compare? Can I just take it? I'm going to take it and add it to my collection. I might use it later on. We'll see. Because it's actually it's a pretty decent multi-tool. It's very similar to the one I've got, obviously. It's the same name, as you can see. But it's got different items on it, and I might actually use it later. So let's go ahead and take it, and we'll add it to the collection. For now, I'm going to switch back to the other one, I think. Great, they both have the same name. Okay, good, good. We got the right one. Okay, now let's see what this guy got, just to make sure we're rounding it all out. Uh, components. Okay, we got the hermetic seals, four of those, two of those, a couple of those. Wiring looms, okay, good, we'll be needing those. Not worried about those things. I mean, solar mirror, mirror is handy, handy for some things. He's also got upgrade charts. Holy mackerel, this is good. We got some glass. Okay, actually, pretty good stuff. Okay, so this is a good place. What in the world? I'm beginning to think that this planet is, uh, is in a really good system. Like, I'm thinking a, a three-star system, an L3 or a tier three, if you will. Um, yeah, it doesn't say. Okay. All right. So we can conclude that this is a good place to stay. I like it. Uh, peaceful. Okay, good. We've got some stuff over there we can get later on. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get that. Can I make... Can I make... Nope, not yet. I can't make any creature pellets yet, so I can't get pets. But I'm going to get this. What are we looking at? Almost an hour now. Okay. We're going to put a base computer down. I will not build the base. Okay. Ah, four more data. See how good my jetpack is now very nice huh all right we'll put the data uh, the, the base computer down over here turn it just a little bit uh, no 
yep, we're gonna claim the base. So this is gonna be my, I think my main base at this point because it's on a nice paradise moon, it's got plenty of resources around this place. Creatures are in good shape. Granted, I don't have any water here. That's okay, I can deal with that. But we have a lot of resources. So we're in good shape. Um, one thing I wanna do is I'm gonna demonstrate the geology cannon real quick. Uh, mining beam, terrain manipulus, got a blessed mining beam. Okay, it's with the center button. Uh, let's go to there. Geology cannon. So it uses plasma. Let me just reset the scatter blaster. It uses plasma bolts, so it charges. So let's see what happens when I shoot this. All right, well, I want to go ahead and analyze it while I'm here. Oxygen, okay, good. So watch this. Gone, one shot. Gone, one shot. Is this not the coolest thing ever? The damage output from this is ferocious. So let's see what we ended up with. Not a lot. That's strange. I didn't get as much as I was expecting to get. Seventy-eight carbon. Okay, let me try something real quick because something's not right here. Uh, let's pull you out of the supercharged location. Whoa! Careful. That's it, huh? I expected to get a lot more out of these geology cannons, but maybe with everything else, I don't know. All right, I'll keep it in mind. We'll talk about it later. Uh, what did I end up with my inventory? Did I kill a creature in there? No, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, good. All right. So let's get to the next stage of our quest real quick. Yes, we're reaching the one hour mark. But watch what happens when I get into space. You'll see. Just wait. Maybe it is going to make us go somewhere else. There it is. Ha <laughs> Coming transmission, source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. I'm something or other. Identify myself. You left me. Why did you tell him you don't understand? Of course you'd say that. Of course, you'd. just like the others. Ask about the others. There is no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. Hold on. There we go. Coordinates received. I wonder where they are. It's over this way. It's over there. Let's see what's there. So we'll go over by just a few minutes here. We'll get past this point, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, quit this particular video. We'll pick up again in the next one. And like I said, I'm going to do two videos tonight. I have time to do so, and then I might go ahead and run another video for um, a permadeath run in a little while. I will have to break in about two hours total. So we'll have some back-to-back -back videos. But I have to admit, I'm actually really enjoying this and doing these videos, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Uh, okay, so this is approximate location. Let's do a little check. Nothing, huh? Hello. I'm stuck. Come on. Try again. That looks cool. Alright. We're going to position our ship up here. And we'll start doing a little search. 
it's usually just a little it's not even a ship that we're looking for or a crashed ship or anything like that uh, this way this way that way it's probably just something that way huh like one of those uh, broken gizmos on the ground. Look how far I can go now. Isn't this cool? Boink. Okay. Hey, my toxic protection is falling. It is a crash ship. Oh my god, it's a fighter? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, it's a C-class. Dang it. 2515. Where's my ship? 2513. Hmm. That's actually a pretty cool looking ship, my friends. I think we have ourselves a new ship. It's going to take some repair work, but I might just keep this son of a gun. Uh, and sell the other ship. So we'll pull you in so we can gather up everything from it. I'm shooting my weapon. Let's pick up everything along the way. Nice ship. That was good timing, man. Uh, some nanites. Okay. Uh, I'm not really worried about that this time. Good. Okay, good. Sounded like we have a some creature nearby. Could have swore I heard something. Anyway, let's check out the signal beacon and get with the story. Uh, needs chromatic metal and sodium. Bzz, bzz. There's no signs of life. There's only the static of a broken communicator. Extract records. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. As all I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they are, whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade for my mining beam. Okay, so we got the advanced mining beam. We need a hermetic seal and two wiring looms. I think I know where we could find those, don't you? Okay, but you know what we're getting out of this? Sweet little ship. It's actually kind of nice looking. I like it. All right, so there's a lot of repairing that needs to be done to this guy. I mean, you think about it, we're going to need a lot of paraffinium and pugnium. We're going to need... Uh, more chromatic metal than we got. Uh, pyrite, phosphorus, metal plates, more wiring looms. See? A lot of things that we don't have right now. So what we'll do is we're going to add this to our inventory. Let me go ahead and repair the main things real fast. I'm going to claim the ship, but we're going to have to hold off on... Uh, doing the full repairs because there's a lot of items we need that we just don't have so we'll come back and we'll get the ship later on all right so we're gonna need this we're gonna need this we're gonna need one of these let's go ahead and get these fixed up real fast and we're gonna need some pure ferrite Do that real fast here. We need 50. Not going to take much to do this. Come on. Starship. Let's repair that. Okay, so the main parts are repaired. My hyperdrive is critically damaged. So I'm going to go ahead and fix part of it since I have that to do it. And I want to get the shield fixed. Okay, we definitely need three microprocessors, which I, I, I can possibly build those, but I don't want to build them just yet. So, again, there's a lot to be repaired here. Um, I don't have a lot of inventory space at the moment but we will definitely hang on to this ship. Very nice ship. So, but we're gonna come back to this. You see it's primary starship switched. 
we will get this ship later on I promise you so all right so what we're gonna do is get our launch thrusters charged um, let's go back to our before I take off we're gonna go ahead and call the video here we're just over an hour at this point we're gonna go ahead and call the video and I'm gonna pick up on the next video where we left off so Thank you for watching. By all means, leave some comments. Uh, I would end this normally, just like I usually do, telling everybody, you know, always there's always time for kindness. Never criticize kindness, as well as always be truthful to everybody, and especially to yourself. Um, again, hit the like button if you, if you would, please, and go ahead and subscribe if you like. But in the meantime, if you have any comments, like I said, I, I always take critical comments uh, seriously. So if you have any comments regarding, say, the background music that's here, my audio, the video quality, really interested because I'm still learning a lot about this. So thank you very much again for watching and uh, uh, watch for the second video. It ought to be up soon. I'm going to do them back to back. All right. Have a great evening, folks.